Good morning. It's not a beautiful morning, but I gotta take whatever I can take. It's very windy. Hopefully it'll come down later because my plans was to travel to Huffman K. Great Harbor Key, but if this weather doesn't come down, um, I won't be able to travel there. All these birds are very active. But it's a beautiful morning. It's high tide right now. It looks like a high tide. Gotta start making breakfast and see what I'm gonna do later today, depending on the weather. There's not even one boat in sight. All right, I got great news. It looks like right now, we got about 16 miles per hour wind. Seven in the morning goes down to five miles per hour. So that's gonna be perfect to head to Great Harbor Key. So I'm gonna eat breakfast, get ready to go, and make the crossing. If this changed, then it'll be a different story. But so far it's great news. All right, today for breakfast, I got this nice loaf of bread. And I'm gonna make some bacon, eggs, and uh, pancakes for breakfast. I got this bacon that has no nitrates. Uh, back in the day, I was eating bacon with nitrates. This bacon that has no nitrates is a lot healthier for me. Um, so definitely, yeah, I moved from nitrate bacon to non-nitrate. Very hard to find sometimes at the stores, but you can find it. All right, breakfast is done. Got my two eggs, toast. I toast it up a little bit. And my bacon. And I'm making pancakes. Today, like always, I'm going all American. It takes me about close to an hour to make breakfast. It's not that fast. You got only one stove. And it's very windy, so you have to cover the air really good. Don't get me wrong, the unhealthy bacon it tastes good too. I'm gonna check my pancakes. And this is how I'm flipping my pancake. Because once again, I forgot something. Last night was rough here. Very windy, then it come down, but it was kind of windy. Right, look at those beautiful pancakes. This is the first time that I have to tie the anchor into one of the cleats. Usually I don't tie the anchor rope into a cleat. I always leave it on the, uh, which you're not supposed to. So this is the first time I did that. I want to show you something on the radar. This is incredible. There's a storm right there, right? And if you look down here, There's a storm there, right here. And there's another one right over there. And you can see it's right here. This color means that it's coming this way. So it's very accurate. Even though I'm anchored here and the boat is not uh, elevated from the water while I'm moving, I'm able to pick up the storms. Look at that up there and their movement. The radar's not picking nothing on this side. When the boat is moving, the boat elevates about almost three feet up in the air. So I'm having a better range uh, with the radar because as the bow rises, 
the pilot house rises stuff too. So between two to three feet, I get better altitude and that gives you better reading. Yeah, don't want to get cut on, nothing like that out there. All right, it looks like the weather's really messing up because I just look at the weather channel and everything has changed. Uh, there's some big storms coming from that side there. Fucking ugly to navigate. And look over here at the weather channel, how everything has changed. I'm right here and I want to get to this side here, half and K. But check out the uh, future. Look at that. All the way to three o'clock today. That's all in my area. I'm here and I'm going to this side here. So all this is turbines and I don't like that. It looks pretty bad. Let's see, that's right here. And it's all the way to three o'clock. So, and I don't want to navigate past three o'clock out there. The only way I will navigate if is the weather is perfect. Um, let's see how everything changes within hours to see if this really changes up or not. Look at Freeport up here. It's a mess. Got the air conditioner running. Got plenty of fuel in the generator. Already ate breakfast. Took my fishing rods down. The antenna of the boat brought it down just in case it lightened. I don't want to get struck by it. That's the antenna right there. And just wait for this storm. See if it uh, clears up a little bit. I have a clean path. I will leave. I'm just waiting for it for any minute just to clear up. And once it clears up, I'll be heading that way. And that way it doesn't look bad at all. But you don't know what's behind those light clouds. It could be dark clouds just as bad as this ones. So it looks pretty that way, but it's deceiving because after that light, um, the sun is giving a lot of light there, but behind that it could be all dark. So we're gonna give a little break and I'm gonna watch a movie and keep an eye on the phone, see if anything changes. Right now there's probably over 20 miles per hour wind. Yesterday was over 30. Look at how the wind picked up. See that storm I showed you earlier? It was pretty dark over there. It's here already. And see how the ocean gets really stupid? Look at that. The ocean gets very stupid when those storms go by. It's a lot of pressure, a lot of wind. Safe there. We're not safe here. We're not safe anywhere. Your chances are better alone. No. We have to stick together. Who else are we gonna trust right now except for each other? One time armor. The list was stolen from this man. Two of our undercover agents were killed. The attackers were hired guns. Trust. Connections tracing them all the way back to the Atola Tunnel. <laughs> Looks like I'm trapped in paradise. Oh, nice. Just some dulce de leche. Some really good stuff. This is gonna pick up iceberg. I have never been here in Honeymoon Harbor. Did I have to stay inside the boat due to weather?
the wind has died down a little bit, but just scattered thunderstorms everywhere. I already watched the movie. Here yeah, my tablet. Probably gonna watch another movie. Can't go fish. I can navigate right now to uh, Great Harbor Key, but the storms that we got going, it's not gonna be a pleasant ride. Look at that. The weather channel gives me a better perspective on that look. There it is. Look at that. And this is the crosses that I want to do. So this storm is right in the middle of the path of the crossing that I want to do all the way to like three o'clock. If I wanted to make it there, I could. Um, then I have to go really slow. It's gonna be bumpy, it's gonna be some waves some storms uh, there's, there's not deep waters going that way it's only between 15 to 25 feet deep waters uh, you know if you break down you can anchor but who wants to be in this type of weather out there might as well stay here I am more protected I got reefs on that side reefs on the other side in the front here so it's better to stay here I could be at work right now. This is very relaxing, believe it or not. Just doing nothing. A lot of times you don't get to do nothing, you're always doing something. So this is another different type of vacation. Getting my cholesterol up. If we didn't have air conditioning, it was raining like this. It gets muggy inside the cabin. It gets hot humid so definitely you do need air conditioner if you're going to be in this type of conditions if you don't you're just really going to sweat it up it's going to be very uncomfortable it's not going to be pleasant having air conditioning it just changes everything in this environment that is very moist plus i'm getting the boat salt water off Now, one thing I don't want to be caught here is during the hurricane. This would be ugly here during the hurricane. These little islands and caves are in the middle of nowhere. So when a storm comes here, the search could cover those little caves. And you see that limestone rock, little cave there? The ocean will go over through that. So that protection becomes no protection at all. All right, for dinner, I still got three lobsters left. I ate one yesterday, so I got plenty of food there. I got steak and I have wings. So basically right now, if I don't catch nothing, I'm okay. But I will go fishing to get some fresh fish. But the good thing is yesterday, I took advantage of that and got four lobsters. If I would have waited for today, that's why you can't live everything to the end because you never know how the weather is gonna uh, collaborate. So at least I got four lobsters yesterday, that was a plus. So catching fish is gonna be a little bit easier than catching lobsters. So finally, I'm going to attempt, the wind has died down a little bit. I'm going to attempt to make it to Huffman Cave, uh, where the blue hole is. Prop clear. So let's see how that goes.
enjoyed this new anchor that I got, the stainless steel one. Much better than the other one. It's an incredible anchor. I think it's because it's so pointy that it digs to the ground so quick. All right. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna try to go real slow because the storms are headed that way. Since the storms are heading that way, I don't want to beat the storm. I just want to get there behind them. I got plenty of fuel. I only took about two gallons of fuel out of uh, from the generator. So I'm gonna try to go slow so I can get good fuel economy. I got about 
32 more miles to go. And the ocean here got a little disturbed because of the storms. You can see that it's kind of disturbed. Just one little wave after another one. I saw a couple of fishing boats and that was it. I saw the chart here, a plane crash. And I'm gonna check it out. To see what kind of structure is on the plane. Deviated from my route a little bit. Just to check out that plane. There it is. There's fish here, a lot of fish, but I don't see the plane yet. The water's very clear here. around but I don't see the plane there's a lot of fish everywhere I can't see can't happen to see the where the plane is now I have to cross a lot of shallow waters if you look here all these shallow waters I need to cross them to get to Hoffman K, which is over here. A lot of shallow waters. 90% of all these waters is very, very shallow. So you gotta be really careful here because navigating here is a problem. If your boat needs a lot of draft, you gotta follow your shark ladder because it is very shallow. You can start seeing the color of the water. It's really, really light green. It's how shallow it's starting to get. Been traveling already, I think about three and a half hours. It is a far distance to come this way. It's clear enough. I love the color of the water here. It's incredible. Look here to the right. To your left. I don't know if you can see it, but the water is just so clear and super green. The water here is just incredible. And like I was hoping, the weather cleared up really good. And when you come here, you gotta make sure it's high tide. Because if it's low tide, you lose a couple of feet of water. And if it says four feet, now you're dealing with two feet. So, or less than that. Well, I'm gonna get to the anchorage probably about six o'clock, ready for take a shower and cook my meal. It took a total of over four hours just to get here. It's a long trip. I guess it's almost like twice uh, to get to Bimini. But well, right now I'm heading to Hoffman K, where the Blue Hall is. And I'm going to anchor in front of the beach there. If it's 
a boat there. Like I've been there in the past since it's been built. Uh, anchor in front of the uh, beach. I'm gonna move to another side. So that way I give those boaters a peace and quiet because I'll be running my generator. I'm lost. I don't know where the Huffman K Beach is at. Everything looks weird, looks different. But definitely it's not here. Yeah, I think it's a little more that way. Huffman K is big. towards this way. It's Hoffman K, but I was looking for this little beach. It's nine feet of water here. I don't know if I get closer at nighttime. These little ticks are gonna kill me. Like it's high tide. That's beautiful here. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Thank you. 
All right, man, Chris set. Such a beautiful place here. I love it here. And after four and a half hours of piloting the boat, it's time for a cold one. Yep. Well worth it. I gotta start cooking quick only got about an hour and a half more of sunlight all right guys after a long trip i'm gonna take a little break now and i'll continue this trip on the next video thank you for watching and if you liked it please don't forget to thumb it up and always navigate safe